Hey guys, Stacy here. So today I was going to style my hair and I thought you guys might want to join me because I'm going to do something a little different because it's getting longer and it's not to the point anymore where I can just put some hairspray in it and do this and be done. So I'm going to show you how I really style. <laughs> when I actually do style my hair. How I really style my pixie. All right, so let's go. First thing, I gotta start off with wet hair because as soon as it starts to dry, it gets flat to your head. So I start with it wet and I'm gonna blow dry it. I'm gonna blow dry it first. Okay guys, so I did it. I learned how to do a voiceover on Final Cut Pro, so here it is. <laughs> but more importantly, I am blow drying this, hopefully as best I can, to over direct it. So I'm blowing it opposite of the way that it lays. And then a little bit towards the little way that it lays so that it has a lot of volume but it's not just standing straight up. I mean don't worry you will see it standing straight up later in this video but for now <laughs> not quite standing straight up just lots of volume. Oh yeah that's a look. I like how it's super voluminous right here, and this side's like <laughs> Who knows? <gasps> I don't know. Anyway, we can work with it. So that didn't take long. Next, I'm gonna use a curling iron. Okay, this is a, I, I know that to my first knuckle is one inch, and this is uh, maybe inch and a half. This is an inch and a half curling iron. So I'm gonna use this. It's tempting to try to use the one inch because it's a little smaller to get in there easier but it's too small, it will leave my hair more curly than I want. I just want it to have a little bend and to give it a little pieciness too. One and a half inch. While that heats up, I'm gonna go get my comb. Okay, so I'm going to curl this. Very slightly. Going in a few different directions. This back part right here, this crown part, I'm gonna do going forward. Okay, then this part right here, I'm gonna do going that way. It's gonna go like that. And then this part right here, I'm gonna do going this way. But not like forward this way, like just straight that way. Let me show you. <laughs> I'll start with the back. Okay guys, seriously, I am just curling this back part, the crown area, forward to get a little volume back there, a little texture. It's just to get a little lift off of the scalp so that my hair won't look so straight and flat to my head. Now I'm turning to the sides here so you can see about how far forward I grab the hair and how far back I'm grabbing to curl it, okay? It's not that far back and it's about halfway through the top part of my head. And then on the sides here, it's pretty easy because my hair is undercut, so I just grab that longer top part and curl that. And I'm trying to curl it all like directly away from my head, not forward, even though when I style it, I'm gonna push it forward. But that way, it keeps it a little more off root. It keeps it a little more volume and a little more texture rather than just curl. <laughs> it is so easy guys to get fluffy 80s big and bold and beautiful soap opera hair when you are using a curling iron on short hair. It is a lot more difficult to keep it uh, just a texture thing and to keep it more modern looking and so this is what I'm attempting to do. Now these bangs here I want them to kind of kick out like that. So I just curl them up and back and I want a little bit on the side. Can't quite get it to do it, but oh well. <laughs> Doesn't this look wonderfully 80s right now? Oh, 
me like my grandma. All right, I like to use a little hairspray. I know that a lot of people like to use paste and pomade, <laughs> pomades and stuff. Oh, I like this look. But um, I like hairspray just because I don't know. I'm an 80s kid at heart, I guess. Woohoo! This is kind of fun. Okay, anyway. Okay, I'm sorry, but I can't look in the phone and do this. I have to look in the mirror. So, here we go. Okay guys, so this is the part where I am using the hairspray to mellow out all of that big 80s volume. So I'm just pulling it, piecing it where I want it to go. And the thing is, you can get all that volume in there because it's always easy to get it out, but it's hard to put it back in. So that's why I like it so big in the beginning, because then I can calm it down with my fingers and hairspray. But if it starts out too flat, there is just no coming back from it, at least not easily, and not without a lot of product and more heat styling. So I like to keep things as simple as possible. So blow dry it big, curl it big, and then tame it all down with my hairspray and just directing it with my hands. All right, I really like this little flippy doodad. I curled it the way, so I have it there. But some of you may prefer more of a down swoop in the front. And you can do that. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how I style my pixie as it's growing out. Now, it does involve using two tools, the blow dryer and the curling iron, and hairspray, which normally I don't do that kind of stuff. But every once in a while, I want to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I like it. I think it's fun. You know what looks really good in this hair, or with this hair? Just some aviator sunglasses. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining us. Love you so much, and see you next time. Bye!